Hello students, again this is Karai sir and welcome all of you to this video lecture and from your uh, textbook we have completed a poem piping down the valley's wind and yesterday just I have started unit number 6 unit number Six, true height. True height. I have started, students. This lesson deals with only sport events. Pre-reading task I have taken, listening and speaking. Okay, the story of H N Girisha on the silver medal in Paralympics. So this I have. Completed. I have taught that uh, this true height lesson is totally based on sport event. So, students, now in this video also we are going to continue the lesson. Subject is English and class is sixth class. Sixth class. Name of the lesson is true true height. True height. What is the true height? What is mean by true height? And this is the story of Michael Stone. This is the story of Michael Stone. I will write here the story of Michael Stone. Okay? The story of Michael Michael Stone. Michael Stone. This is the story of Michael Stone students. From page number 60, from page number 60, I told you how a 17-year-old boy clears the bar that is set at 17 feet. 17 feet means six and a half inches and gets the first place. But true height refers to another kind of height also, his whole personality. I explained, I discussed how was the day, how was the most challenging day of Michael's life, how he clears and uh, what is the meaning of pole vaulting. Yes, pole vaulting is the game. Michael Stone did it. Refers to or related to, relates to Michael Stone, relates to poor vaulting. Poor vaulting. This is an event, game event. Game event. Okay? So this is called game event. Now I am going to continue. Page number 61, students. Page number 61. As long as Michael could remember, he had always dreamed of flying. Michael's mother read him numerous stories about flying when he was growing up. Her excitement and passion for detail made Michael's dreams full of color and beauty. He would be running down a country road and he could feel the rocks and chalks of dirt at his feet. As he raced down the golden lined wheat fields, he would always outrun the locomotive passing by. He would begin, he would begin soaring like an eagle, where he flew would always coincident with his mother's stories. His dad, on the other hand, was not a dreamer. Bert Stone was a realistic. He believed in hard work and sweet. Okay. So now, I am explaining this paragraph to students because this paragraph deals with the past of Michael Stone, the childhood of Michael Stone, the practice of Michael Stone, struggle of Michael Stone, everything. 
okay as long as michael could remember he had always dreamed of flying yes he had a dream he had a dream dream of flying dream of flying he had a dream dream of flying and michael's mother read him numerous stories about flying and yes this is important to us that our parents should be uh, teach us at home yes the parents should be uh, yes that every time what is happening the parents think that teachers are teaching to the students no there is some there are some responsibilities of parents also that parents also should help the students to learn their skills teachers are teaching yes it is good they are teaching uh, syllabus portion whatever the given by government but skills parents should find out the skills of students what my child has uh, what skill my child has or uh, different types of talents it's called abilities it's called uh, natural talents that everything should find everything the parents should find out and that's here the michael's mother also going say michael's mother read him numerous stories about flying yes she would read she used to read a stories of flying when michael stone was child his mother would read numerous stories of flying and when he was going up yes when he was going up while going up we should push our students we should push our child while going up not after going up no not after going up while going up we should push to our child and her ex- excitement and passion for detail made michael's dreams full of color and beauty and mother's excitement was there passion passionately passion was there she dreamed also and that's why michael's dream became full of color and beauty means what what is the dream of my mother michael uh, understood michael understood what is the dream of my mother so that dream also became colorful full of color and beauty and he would be running down a country road yes he used to run down yes because to be so sport person running practice should be there no to be to be to be sport person running practice should be there yes and that's why students you should know that michael also would run used to run where down a country road country road is everywhere the roads okay so he would be running down a country road to do practice running practice and he could feel the rocks and chunks of dirt at his feet yes at his feet at his feet he could feel rocks and he used to run feeling rocks in his feet feeling rocks at his feet he would run down country road down country road that was the practice of michael stone 
every day practice and as he raced down the golden line the wheat fields and raced down golden line why because of wheat field is mentioned natural beauty of the mention wheat fields wheat fields means wheat okay crop you know that land of wheat land of sugar cane land of rice fields of rice fields of sugar cane fields of wheat and he would always outrun the loco locomotive 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 means train train passing by okay so train passing by the engine of train also train with train he used to run what type of practice he was doing students it is a practice may practice makes man perfect so that's why by the stone now we can say he is a perfect sportsman because he did practice he practiced a lot okay he would begin he would begin soaring like an eagle eagle also soaring like an eagle means uh, flying flying also he uh, did practice of running also and practiced of flying also because his uh, event is core body flying by using core okay flying by using core so that is called core body so practice of flying also he did properly and where he flew would always coincident with his mother stories and wherever or whenever he flew would always coincident with mother stories because all the flying stories were told by mother all all the flying stories were told by mother and some coincidence happening there wherever or whenever he flew would always coincident with his mother stories his dad on the other hand was not a dreamer yes students difference between mother and father we get dreamer difference between mother and father mother was dreamer and the right here the name of mother mother was a dreamer name of the mother was milfred milfred stone and father was father was not dreamer he was realistic realistic not dreamer not dreamer and his name was bird stone bird stone the students the name of mother and father name of mother and father mentioned here here is the mother mother was a dreamer okay she had a dream so that's why mother dreamer name of the mother is milfred stone father is here given father means realistic realistic means who think about only reality okay who think who thinks about only reality very sensible and practical person realistic means what practical person not a dreamer the name of the father was bert stone bert stone name of father milfred stone name of mother michael stone is the sportsman young 17 year old boy pole vaulting was the event of event of michael stone but father was not dreamer he was a realistic man 
and also students he was realistic and he believed in hard work and sweet sweet means hard work and hard work he believed in only he believed in only work yes only in work no other thing because he was a realistic man a practical person that uh, work hard and earn money only working in the fields only working in the fields that type of father was there mother was a dreamer father was a dance not a dreamer name of the mother was my my favorite stone bird stone michael stone sport person uh, very famous and also 17 year old boy won the medal in gold gold what gold what bird stone was realistic and believed in hard work and sweet and from the age of 14 from the age of 14 michael did just that he began a very careful and regimented regimented weight lifting program he worked out every day with weights and did running work on alternate days the program was closely monitored by michael's coach trainer and father michael's dedication determination and discipline was a coach dream besides being an honor student michael continued to help his parents with their farm chores his persistence in starving for perfection was not only his obsession obsession but also his passion 14 years old now michael was 14 years old 14 years old from the age of 14 michael did just that It means he just did practice running flying and different type of things he just focused on his dream whatever he was doing about his target his goal his dream from the age of 14 from the age of 14 student now he began a very careful and regimented weight lifting program regimented means regularly continuous continuous weight lifting program because to be sport person every thing you should learn i already told you the core working means the gymnast with the strength of the bodybuilder and also some elements of flying and many things are there so he began a very careful and regimented weight lifting program he worked out every day with weights weight lifting weight lifting means who you you like this yes students that is called weight lifting try if possible try it weight lifting is very important Yeah, like this. Okay, so this is called weight lifting, and uh, after that, did running work on alternate days. Every day weight lifting, and alternate days running also. He maintains. He maintained that two things balanced it two things that alternate day running practice. every day weight lifting program the program was closely monitored by michael's coach yes he was not alone students he was not alone his all practice programs was monitored by michael's coach also trainer also and father also three persons their person there were three people there were who who were that three people michael's coach trainer and father 
that his program was closely monitored by Michael's coach, trainer and father also and Michael's dedication, determination and discipline was a coach's dream. 3D, 3D, yes, I like to write here 3D. You should follow also 3D. 3D movies, you know. 3D songs, you know. 3D formula, 3D. 3D formula. And writing here what is dedication. One is dedication. Second one is determination. Determination and the third one is discipline. Discipline that is called 3D. Michael Stone follows 3D. For example, Michael's dedication, Michael's dedication, determination, and discipline was coach's dream. And besides being an honor student, yes. He was honor student students. That Michael Stone was honor students. Michael continued to help his parents also. Means Michael would help. Michael would help two parents. When two parents in law. Because working in farm also. Helped him. Working in farms also helped him students. So that's why Michael continued to help his parents with their farm chores and his persistence in star starving, striving for perfection was not only his obsession but also his passion. Yes, students. Because he was a really good boy. Obsession means what? A thing that somebody thinks about too much. Obsession. And persistence means what? Purposefulness. Purposefulness. Two things you have to do. Two new words are there. The first one is persistence. 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 Persistence means what? was not only his obsession but also his passion means to be perfect to be perfect that is not his only obsession but passion also passion also of Michael Stone because of that he would work he would help in farm also to his parents what a great boy what a great personality Michael Stone was 17 years old boy won the medal pole vaulting is the event pole vaulting is the event then Milfred Stone Michael's mother wished that he could relax a bit sorry wished that he could relax a bit more little bit yes relax a bit more and be that free dreaming little boy all michael's walls all michael's walls today seem to be the reward of his hard work he cleared the bar at 17 feet 
2 inches and 17 feet 4 inches and became one of the final two competitors in the pole vaulting event at the National Junior Olympics. I discussed with your students all the past things, history, journey of Michael Stone. Journey of Michael Stones, I discussed at how he was in childhood. He practiced long, he practiced continuously, he would help to his parents, also uh, weightlifting and running, everything he did properly. So practice makes man perfect, now he became perfect because, because now today whatever struggle he had, whatever he practiced in his childhood, today seemed to be the reward of his hard work. Hard work. This is the reward of hard work. And what was the reward? He cleared the bar at 17 feet 2 inches. 17 feet 2 inches. And 17 feet 4 inches. He cleared the bar at 17 feet 2 inches and 17 feet 4 inches and became one of the two, one of the final two competitors. Now he became final two competitors. Now he became one of the final two competitors in the pole vaulting event at the National Junior Olympics. This is called National Junior Olympics. You know, I think Olympics you know, Olympics Games. But this is called National Junior Olympics. National Junior Olympics. What? Pole vaulting unit national. National Junior Olympics Olympics and event was pool ball pool ball pool ball means I suggested you I told you that uh, please watch some videos of pool ball on YouTube all the ideas will be cleared. Then what is the meaning of pole vaulting? Search on YouTube. Okay, Michael Stones also will be available there on YouTube. Event at the National Junior Olympics. Now he became one of the final two competitors in the National Junior Olympics, and the event is pole vaulting students. Pole vaulting is the event. Yes. What type of man, what type of boy he is, just remember. Okay, so students, now uh, true height means what I told you. Height means, height means poor body. I know height refers to poor body because we have to jump through by flying ourselves. That is called the event poor body. But actually, true height means what you should know. Whole personality. His whole personality. So, students, true height is a very healthy lesson. Again, page number 62 is in MNA, and 63 and 64, and all the activities also are there. But uh, yes, this is very uh, important that you should learn about that type of people, famous and it will inspire you. The stories of that type of people, it will inspire you 100%. It will motivate you. So that's why they have given this story to Hyde Michael Stone. National Junior Olympics, old one. 70 year old boy. So if you have also talent, natural talent or skill, you also should try in other field. For example, sport events, singing, dancing, acting, 
writing poems, writing articles, story books, novels, choreographer, painter, many things are there. That is called natural talent, ability, skills. Okay, the so students, I have uh, taught till page number 62, 6 point I have completed. From 7 point I will, I will be discussing, I will be teaching in the further videos. So students, watch regularly all the videos and read this lesson to height. And I will show here the picture also, yes. What a great picture here and the true height, unit 6. So students, read this and uh, in the next video I will continue this lesson. So thank you. This is Karate sir. Watch videos regularly, complete your homework regularly. Thank you.